All right, so I built a Web3 app with AI and zero code in a matter of minutes. And it was all thanks to a platform called Ohara AI. And this is one of the game changers in the Web3 and just app building space in general, because with Ohara AI, you're able to create applications using a simple prompt in a matter of minutes. And you could do basically any idea and turn it into a real life application. So the way it works is step one, you have to enter any app idea into the prompt box by pressing the plus button or typing your idea into the prompt. And so this is something that is extremely simple because you don't need to have coding experience. You don't need to have a dev team. You don't need to have knowledge of Web3 or crypto or even knowledge of the tech space. You just need to have an idea. And so just with me, a random idea and a tool called Ohara AI, I was able to come up with a pretty cool app, at least in my opinion. So the way it works is first, I had an idea to create an application that was a crypto focused app that connected people's crypto wallets and rounds up every single charge they make to the nearest dollar and invests the spare change into cryptocurrencies in the top 100. So I had a prompt that I had that was exactly like this. You can see a crypto investment app, and that's something that was going to be like an Acorns investment, but for the crypto space. So I thought this was really cool. Normally, it would be a nightmare to code this, but with Ohara AI, they make it extremely, extremely simple. They also have a cool couple of cool other features that we need to talk about because if you're going about having an idea, you can go ahead and submit your idea. It's going to start having its assistant, start typing, giving you some feedback on it. And so with an idea like this, this is a very broad idea still. It's not fully hashed out and they're going to ask you some questions and you know help guide you along the process. So you can go through this entire process of doing this or you can have a more fully fledged out idea if you would want. But you can see it's completely developing this idea for us and it's going to have our feedback along the way. So one thing about this is that if you go ahead and click on this configure button and you click on connections, this is where the real magic happens because this tab, it's like a cheat code for builders. And so you've got powerful APIs, which you can see right here. You have access search, which is this real time search engine. Access search API delivers precise, customizable search results in real time, blending keyword and neuro search to power applications and you could see it talks about this you could read more there's flux and runway so flux text to image generation it's a new open source image generation model again very cool as well you see it says Bob Bob's Burgers, Bob's Burgers data, pull information on all characters from the hit series Bob's Burgers. You can see like open AI, text, image, audio generation. You can see all these different connections that are very important. You could also see they have uh, like weather data and privy, uh, which is Web3 authentication and key management. All these different connections are really uh, like most of these cost money to use on their own and are very, very very powerful. But Ohara lets you use them for free directly in your builds and you don't even need to know how to go about using them. It just automatically figures out what's going to need to connect to your app and uses these different connections for you. So you can see it says uh, fail to compile, but that's just because we didn't fully fledge out the idea and we're going over a few other things. So once you start building out the app, let's go back here. It's still, you know, building everything out. It says assistant is updating the app preview, but I actually had a more fully fledged out idea of this that I want to copy and paste in here so you could actually see it. It talks a little bit about uh, like different pages in the application, how the roundup system is going to work. And so let's go back and let's go back and click on create. We're going to go about putting in my full idea right here. So I had this whole thing that I had done talking about creating a roundup investment app and you can see all the details here. So that's going to help save us a little bit of time for actually creating the app. And you can see the system again is going at it. So once I was happy with the build, once I was able to, you know, fully fledge out that idea that I had talked about with, you know, simply entering that initial idea into the chat, then I started to be able to actually publish it. And all you have to do then is hit publish. And that's where the magic happens because alongside with my live app, Ohara generated an app coin, which is a token native 
to my app that lives on base. And you could see they talked about this recently over on their X. April 3rd, they said, introducing app coins, a token tied directly to your vibe, uh, coded apps and games now live on base. In a world of co-generation and infinite software, we need to revolutionize how software is monetized and distributed. Now anyone can generate apps and launch app coins. And you can see in X, there's a whole entire thread on this about how app coins work. But basically, I'm automatically getting 10% of the token supply for my app. And if anyone remixes my app, I earn 3% of their token supply as well. So this isn't just a build and forget type of thing. It's a long-term revenue stream and software is like becoming the new content. You can ultimately, you know, earn income from this. And you can see they talk all about the token breakdown with the 10% and 3% like I previously already mentioned. So really, Ohara is the simplest way to generate apps on base from a simple idea and it allows you to save money, allows you to save time, and it uses all of this with zero code and artificial intelligence. So you can see it's building out the entire application that we put, and it does take a few minutes because it's doing basically everything that you would need to do that it might take months and months to actually have a team build out. So now let's talk a little bit about um, with this configure section. If you go to code, you can see all the code for the application and you can see how it's built everything out. You can look at layout, you can look at all the different pages, portfolio section, roundup setting. You can see all these different details and that's something that's really important before going about actually publishing it. So these are just something that is very, very cool in my opinion because their artificial intelligence system allows you to have an idea, bring it to life, have app coins, and it does all of this for you. So it doesn't have to be strictly a Web3 app, doesn't have to just be uh, like any sort of category. This feature and this tool with Ohara allows you to build anything you want and their AI assistant helps guide you through the process. So you simply start off with an idea and from your idea, it allows you to create this fully fledged application and you could see that their AI assistant is constantly constantly working in this phase to go from having an idea to having a fully fledged application. So I never thought that like building my own web three app and launching a token would be this easy, but really in just a few minutes and with Ohara, you don't need to know how to code. You just need to know what you want to build and whether you're making a tool, a community, a game, uh, like an application or something like totally different, Ohara AI is able to do this with you. And it's something that I think is a really, really cool. You can see some of the top apps already available on O'Hara and you can see like the dollar amounts you can see that they've earned it talks about like base ng versus bears mini game ai snake training game you can see all of these different things and exactly how they work and these apps were built directly with O'Hara and they're already earning people money you could see the tokens there you could see the applications and this is something that i think is extremely extremely game changer in the web3 space so let me know your thoughts on this i'll let you guys know what happens with my application um, as we continue to fully fledge out the idea and how it's going to work. But this is something that is a real game changer for Web3, building games, building apps, and like just being in the tech space in general.